Thank you for staying with us, sir. When President Bola Tinubu assumed office, he declared a zero tolerance for corruption. And we saw that uh, demonstrated when uh, the minister, the now suspended minister of humanitarian affairs, was asked to leave the scene so that investigation will be carried out into the activities of that uh, ministry. And since that time, we know she reported at the EFCC office, but so far we have not had much on that case. Yeah, the reason why you have not heard anything lately is because that investigation is still ongoing. And when it's due for prosecution, if we have the evidence to proceed to prosecution, I'm sure the media will be fully informed. So right now there is no evidence? I'm not saying there's no evidence. I say the matter is still under investigation. That is the reason we are not talking so much about it. But when the case has matured and we know we have the evidence to go to court, you will hear from us. From but now the question is how soon? Because there is already a vacuum in the Federal Executive Council. And um, uh, as the Federal Executive Council stands now, each minister represents their states. And this, the uh, position, or should I say now the slot, of Cross River State is... Uh, vacant at the moment because of this ongoing investigation. Is there a timeline when this will be concluded and everyone will know the fate yeah. of um, that matter? Well, re regarding the issue of whether there is a vacuum or not, that is a political matter. It's not within the purview of the EFCC. Ours is to investigate a matter that is important to us or a matter that we have evidence that needs to be investigated. Like I told you, we are doing our bit. You can't put a timeline on any investigation. I think the problem I always have with uh, local media colleagues is that once you have you're on a matter, EFC is on a matter, they are asking you when are you going to go to court. But if you rush to court and the matter fails, they will also come back to you and say you rush a matter to court where you know you have not finished your investigation. Mm. So I will simply ask the media to be patient with the EFCC. We are doing our work. When we believe that we have sufficient material to go to court, we shall proceed to court. Going to court is not just a fun activity. You only go to court when you believe that you have sufficient evidence to succeed in prosecution. If you are also looking at asset recovery, you go to court when you know you have what the material that you place before the court can get you the asset that you want to recover. So when the time comes, we will cross that bridge.